Well, good morning and welcome. Well, you know, I, I sort of hate to turn anything today. Oh, there's a red dog out there barking. All right, let's get back to it. Anyway, what I was telling you is I hate to turn anything today or any time because uh, I asked a Christmas present. My 12-year-old grandson, yo, you guys have seen him occasionally during the years as he grew up. His name is Zachary. Anyway, he cleaned up my shop. And I mean, he cleaned it up. He took everything out of the shop. This, this side of the shop over here was bare. I mean, he took everything out. Uh, and of course, I moved vehicles. He, he moved the four-wheeler because that's... He thinks it's his, and it might be. But anyway, this, this shop has never been this clean before, even after it was built. I mean, he swept it out and blew it out, and then he cleaned all the tools and put them all back in. And I'm so proud of him. I, mean, I just sort of hate to do anything. What I, have, what I am going to do, probably not today, but I'm going to uh, get some plywood and uh, put it in the windows with holes in it so I can so I can vent my planer and disc sander and uh, edger so I can vent them outside. They make a heck of a mess. And sorry, I'm rolling around. And of course, for you know, around the band saws and all this kind of stuff, it just it's just an old table saw, so it doesn't even have a place to hook a hose to it. So what it is, I brought my big shop back out and I'm going to try to keep up with it. But I probably won't be able to. So let's get on with it. Try to come right through the pit. Or close to it. I'll turn it out anyway. Um, yeah. Not gonna be a very big bowl. You see, it's got some spalting over there. You know, I don't like that crack in the center. I'm getting ready to turn most of it out anyway. So let me go ahead and find the center here best I can. So yeah, let's see if this will hold. It feels pretty tight. gonna be pretty. Look at here. I can tell. Alright, I got the face plate all centered up best I can. I'm not gonna cut them off with their little bandsaw. Mainly because I done vacuumed up, vacuumed it off before I decided to do it. So I'll just take them off, you know, from the bottom. So I'm gonna be using four one inch deck screws. I'm sorry, I'm going to be using six more inch deck screws. I'm not going to leave those awls in there. I don't think they would do much good. I always like to take a hammer and sort of whack them in a little bit with my thumb. This is pretty hard wood. I don't know. I might have to drill them. I generally screw one in and then I decide if I need to drill it or not. See how hard it is. If it's too hard within inches you break it, it's pretty good. If you don't want to do that, let's see what we got here. And it's okay.
It's a little drill. We'll twist them off. I'm scared to told you. So when it says stop, you need to stop. Okay. See if we can't get it on the lace now. We are going to start. I've already spun it up to a grand. Seems to do pretty good. So I'm going to start coming and working my way out this way. Gently. Okay, let's see if it holds together. Again, that's turning so fast. I don't want. I don't want to risk moving while I'm turning. And I was going to do a recess, but to be perfectly honest, I just don't trust that wood. It's more punky up here than it is down here in the hardwood, but still got a couple cracks, so I'm just going to do a recess and then I'll cut it off later. I think that's probably the, the safest way to be. And that's what it's about, isn't it? So I already got this measured for it. So you want to come in here, touch this side. You can touch that one if you want to, but you'll be in for a surprise. I have done it before. That's about right. Could have been a hair more, but this will do just fine. Alrighty, <clears throat> I'm getting ready to uh, do something a little different. I've done it before a long time ago. Got a lot of review, good reviews on it, or good comments. But what I, I'm going to do first, this is that's my sealer. That's just that's just a different container. That's all it is. <clears throat> but that's men wax water based sand and sealer. So I'll put a good heavy coat of that on first. And then what I did is I took this, I call it fine crack filler. I've explained before, it comes off the inside of the bag of uh, my dust collector, the cloth bag. I just scrape it and I get this 
super fine stuff here. There's all kinds of wood in it. Anyway, I took that and a little bit of that and I made myself what I call a slurry. So you see what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this fine this coat on here and it'll get down into a lot of places and then I'm going to coat all the punky wood and the edge of the bark with my slurry. So let's proceed. Because it's uh, up here, it's punky up here. And the, edge, the bark is a little bit on the rough side too. So that's what we're gonna do real quick. This is gonna be a pretty bowl. I hope if I don't screw it up, I don't think I'm going to. I've done this before and it worked just great. Of course, you have to leave it overnight. Maybe you don't have to, but you're sure better off if you do. See, I'm trying to get this all to soak into the bark. This, this, uh, this wet stuff here, it, it becomes a binder. And you'll be surprised how nice and pretty this will be when I get it sanded after I get this on. <clears throat> All right. We're done with this. So we're going to take clean my hand a little bit. I just use my fingers with this stuff. I, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't, but I do. It's all water soluble, so I don't reckon it matters that much, does it? And what I do is I just rub it in right like that. Any place that I see, I think I need it. It also works for a great crack filler. See, I'm just rubbing, I'm rubbing it basically everywhere because it'll sand off if it doesn't sand in or go into, you know, places like, you know, the punky part of the wood and so forth. All right, I already get it. All right, well, it's actually several days later. I, I did come out here and sand this just a little bit. And I put a little bit more of my slurry around the bark because it wasn't quite filling. But uh, I think it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead with the uh, palm sander. I call them butterfly sander. And hit all around the bark. And I may have to come around here for this bark with a little bit of water and stain or something. Because this brown is, you know, sort of in there, and it doesn't quite look like I want it to. So I may do that. We'll see. putting wax on it anyway so I'm gonna try something totally different this little can of wax dates back to the 1950s probably shouldn't use it but I'm gonna Yeah, I'll just use it on pier. Mm. 
You won't find nothing like this no more. Or put it up. Oh. It's got a three. I bet it was three dollars. Put it in my pocket. I'm taking the hats. Well, it gives it a nice brown look, doesn't it? I didn't want to get a super shine out of this. I wouldn't even touch it no more. So I'm going to start putting some Max Paste on it now, right there. You can see that. Get this thing out of my way. You have to put some pressure on it because you want to build heat. Let's take a gander at it, see what it looks like. Gotta shine. Don't have the shine I want though. Oh yeah, that really helped a lot. Yes, sir. That's looking a whole lot better. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some get a whole lid up there where you see it ain't real clear. I done messed it all up. This is the uh, polish and restoring paste. It has uh, Cornuba wax in it, and beeswax, and mineral oil. Alright, that ought to get it. You're looking shiny to me from here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and, and drill my center hole here. I call that a cheat hole. This is cut off drill bit, and this is a Jacob's Chuck, a life center Jacob's Chuck. So I'm going to make a life center out of this until I can, until I can trust that tenon up right there like that. See, I mean, see. now back this thing way off. So I can still get to it in there. start right in here for a little while before I take this off. I think it's pretty safe now to remove this because it's looking looking all right. I think I got the uh, Jacobs Chuck on a live center from Penn State. In case anybody was wondering.
And it didn't sound right. It wasn't exactly catchy. It was just getting a little more than needed. What did we do here? Oh, we knocked this dead burnish. I got way too far over. All right, looks like we got a big old piece there and a piece there. I see one, I see two. Well, that's what they make glue for, right? Oh, let me check, see here. I've got, that's a good inch and a half, so, you know, I got, I got a good inch I can go down with this. All right, well, this is a, a barkless natural edge bowl now, but it's punky up in here, and right in here it's not that much, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it with thin CA. I'll be using Starbond Super Thin CA, just soak it down with that. Well, I'm still going at it, trying to get deeper and deeper, <laughs> working that crack out. A little punky in here, I treated it. Anyway, we're uh, we're getting there slowly but surely. Seems like I stop a lot, I know. I sort of worry about it splitting on me. All right, well, <clears throat> I didn't want to bore you for all the sanding. So now, get ready, get ready to put some uh, wipe on poly on it. And I decided that I'm going to, if this is shiny enough, I'm going to stop there because this is trying to polish this. Especially inside, it's pretty hard to do. I already hit my hand right here doing this, trying to sand in there, so I didn't got myself gun shy. So well, this is what I'm gonna do. If it looks pretty good, I'm probably gonna leave it. It's not one of my prettier bowls, but uh, I mean, it's okay. Holly uh, usually does a pretty good job, especially if you got a good base under, which I do. And I got three coats of sand and sealer. Okay. okay. Let that dry. I'm going to do it again. Maybe do it two more times because it's a little bit of dry spot right there. That's the spot I had to sand after I got the sealer on it. I put some more on it, but I may not have got enough. I mean, I see people put one coat of sand in the sealer. I personally don't think that's enough because if you look at it close, you can still see like holes in it where the grain runs. So the sealer hasn't really smoothed it over. It hasn't sealed it, in other words. So, I mean, that's the idea. Sometimes with one coat, you miss little spots. Yep, the, the outside is, is basically finished. It's got a nice, uh, oh, I don't know what you would call it, sort of not a matte finish, actually, semi gloss finish, which I can take it to the Beagle system and make that perk up in a heartbeat. But here's what I was thinking. I thought of this last night. I saw somebody do it and it turned out pretty good, but I'm just afraid I'm going to screw this bowl up, but do I really care? And the answer is no. I'm sort of slowed down, you know, it's cold, nasty winter, it's raining outside and about 32, 33 degrees, and a little bit of a breeze, so I can't do nothing out there, or, or I'm not going to.
So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to scorch around here like this to give it a bark look. That's, uh, that's what this guy did. I have no idea who it was. It's just one of those mini videos I looked at. This is doing surprisingly well. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm just going to let that um, cool off. And put some more poly right on the top of it. All right, I'm finished. In case you're wondering, I'm in the uh, main part of the shop, the wood, woodworking part, wood turning part. I, I won't even be in there today. It's nasty outside and cold in here, and it's too much effort to try to heat it this time of year. After all, you're talking about 2,300 square feet. Uh, it's the size of my shop, so you know, it takes quite a bit to heat it. But anyhow, that's not why I'm talking to you. I finished the bowl. Man, this was a Venture uh, had a horrible cracks in it. They had a whole lot of punkiness, and I have absolutely no idea why I even finished this bowl once I saw all that. But you know, that's the way I am. It's, uh, I hate to give up on anything. I have, but it's very rare. I decided not to buff it. It uh, didn't really need it. It's, it's, you know, it's not a real shiny, shiny finish, but sort of like a semi-gloss, and I like it. It's really light. It's, uh, like I said, it's black gum. And, it's, of course, it's been sitting in my office for like four or five years, so it's plenty dry now. You, know, you saw me do all this. Sort of looks like bark, doesn't it? Yeah, anyway, get it up here where you can see it a little better. Get my LED where I can see what you're seeing. There you go. We got that right. No, it's upside down. There you go. What do you think of that? That's sort of neat, isn't it? It's really got some pretty stuff in. See all the spalting and stuff here? Uh, da, 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 where'd it go? Well, I guess that's it right there. And of course, this is all punky, and I used my, you know, you saw my technique I used, my slurry technique. So, I'll take some uh, final pictures of it. And we'll, we'll call this done. So, subscribe. Tell your friends. Give me a like. And take care of yourself. And you know what? You best call your mom. Bye.